Up for sale from Redvale RV is this fresh arrival 2006 Alda Savanti 362 Touring Caravan. This caravan has just arrived here at the yard and as such we've put a brand new warrant of fitness and registration on it. So it's had a brand new electrical waff and a brand new LPG cert. The caravan comes equipped with a deep cycle battery and a new 9 kilo LPG bottle. The caravan's ready to hit the road for the new owners. The purpose of this video is to give anybody who can't come to the yard a really good idea of the condition that this caravan is in. We've also just done a service on it to make sure everything is working as it should be, such as the fridge, the hob and the ovens. And it's all checked out well. This caravan being a 2006 does have some bumps and bruises which I'm going to get to. Our yard is available, oh, sorry, the caravan is available to view at our yard by appointment only by calling the phone number on the listing provided. Alternatively, you can jump onto our website www.redvalerv.com. We can arrange finance and we do accept trade-ins. Just let us know what you've got. So this caravan here is a great two berth. It is uh, an entry level caravan, super easy to use. It is fitted with motor movers and it does come with a full room awning. Keep in mind we do not erect the awnings here on site so we cannot guarantee the condition but it does come with a big full room awning. We're going to start this, the front here, we're going to work our way around. As you can see the caravan is about 2100 wide. We've got pinstripes at the top there. Now they are sun faded, the red pinstriping is sun faded on the front and the paint is ever so slightly flat but as to be expected with a caravan that uh, this age. Front windows are all in good order. They are double glazed. It does have these handles on the front and rear as well so you can move this caravan round by hand as it only weighs just over 900 kilo. There is a couple of stone chips here and there, but really nothing of note. Then come round to this side here. That's relatively straight. There's a couple of very minor pin dents, a little bit of sun fading on the graphics, but really nothing of note. Come down to the tyres. Tyres are in good order. Plenty of tread on the tyres. Here are its motor movers here, so those electric motors can drive the caravan round with a remote. You can see the chassis there and the floor it's really lovely and solid. On this side here, it does have a plastic wheel arch there. As you can see, the, it's broken a little bit of plastic off there. And a little bit of plastic is missing off the rear wheel arch there. Those wheel arches are available. We can fit one of those for about $800 if you did want to fit a new plastic wheel arch there. I'm going to come round to the back of the caravan back of the caravans in good order. Once again, a little bit of stone chipping and sun fading on the red. Couple of little scuff here. A little bit of plastic, a uh, little bit of residue, tape residue from where it would have had a number plate in the UK and there is a sticker residue there as well. Once again, really nothing of note going to come round to the entry side. Just like the other side, it's only got a couple of pin dents here and there and a little bit of sun fading on the graphics. But all in all, it's a tidy wee caravan. We're going to step on in. It does come with this entry step here. Our latest certificates and warrant of fitnesses up on the window there. Caravan is fitted with carpets throughout. They've just had a shampoo. We step straight into the kitchen area of this caravan. Step on in. It is fitted with a four burner gas hob, double sink there, hot cold tap, gas grill, gas oven, under bench storage, and of course, overhead locker. I'm gonna swing the camera around to our front area. Now this front lounge here, these beds can either be used as single beds 
or this entire area can be folded out to make a queen size bed sleeping that way across the caravan. Tuck to my left here we've got more storage, more bench space, latest service report, our motor movers remote so this is how you drive the caravan. Sets of keys there, down to our three way fridge, this fridge runs on gas or electricity or off 12 volt, stowed away in here is another table, so that is a trestle table that sits in the middle there, you've got dining space for six people. Camper is fitted with a two-way heating system, so that can run off LPG or it can run off electricity. Tucked up under the front bunk here, we've got a 10-litre hot water cylinder that can run off electricity or gas. Got an extra fold-away table here. This table can fold out of the way. We're fitted with USB points there. Another 12-volt power point and mains power point there. Above us. We've got a skylight that opens up. They're great on a hot day to let all the heat out. Now all the windows are fitted with fly screens and blackout blinds. They're thermally rated as well, so they keep the heat in or out, whatever you desire. All of the windows are double glazed. And the caravan is fully insulated, so these are super warm to stay in over winter as well. Plenty of storage in behind here. And we got to our bathroom in the back corner. So, got overhead lockers there, our cassette toilet, sink, and that uh, tap there also becomes a shower head. Now, we do have a little bit of sun fading on the plastics, as to be expected with any caravan of this age. Now, there are some imperfections in here. There is some minor wear and tear on the woodwork. There's a wee bit of sun fading on our front seats, but really nothing worse than any other 2006. Down the bottom of the door here, got a bit of split wood here, which makes this door a wee bit sticky to latch. And in the past, there has been a water leak along the front here, and it has left a water stain along the front dashboard there, and it's lifted some of the vinyl. Now below the windows and all that, it's still nice and solid but it has lifted some of the vinyl on the dashboard and doesn't look the nicest. What we've done is we've fully resealed the front of the caravan to make sure that that doesn't get any worse. Other than that, we have done a moisture test on this entire caravan and besides those front three windows, the caravan is as dry as a bone and it's very solid. And as stated, we have resealed the front. So it's ready to hit the road. So thank you very much for watching. If this is not the caravan for you, jump onto our YouTube channel and check out all the other campers we've got for sale. We've got a lot of videos on there of many makes and models of caravans. It'll give you a good idea of, of the types of caravans. Thank you so much for watching.